These are the 7.3 notes for Algebra 2. Today we're going to be writing equations of rational functions. So this formula right here is your basic format of all of our functions. The a value is what moves the points. If you wanted to say a little bit more mathematically, it would be a stretch of the graph, stretch of the points. The h is going to move the graph left or right. And that is always the opposite direction of what it looks like. And the k value is going to move the graph up or down. So the first thing I recommend for each graph is figuring out where the asymptote lines are. So let's look at the first two. These have a shift in them, which means they might have an h or a k. So as we look at example number one, we're going to draw the asymptote lines. And you want to draw these lines so that they do not touch the graph that's already on your paper. So where can these asymptote lines squeeze in so they don't cross or touch those lines? There we go. So it looks like this graph has gotten moved to the left 5. It doesn't look like the asymptote line has been moved up or down at all. It's still on 0. So we would write y equals. The point is in the same place as it always is. So you can see right here it's over 1 and up 1. So that means the a value can be 1. If the a value is 1, we don't need to write that as part of our formula. It's just invisible right there. So then we would say 1 over x, left 5 would mean plus 5. And then since we're not moving up or down at all, there's no number at the end of the equation. For example, number 2, again, put your asymptote lines in so that they are not crossing through or touching the graph. We can see here that the asymptote lines were moved to the right 2 and up 4. Pretty much where these numbers are, it's going to be kind of what you're looking at. So right 2 and up 4. Again, your a value isn't changing. This graph did not get stretched at all. It's right there from the center at over 1, up 1. So again, my a is going to be 1. All right, so y equals... You can put the 1 there if you want, or you can leave it off. Most of the time people leave it off, but it is still correct if you put a 1 there. 1 over x, and then the right 2 would be a minus 2. And then the up 4 is going to be a plus 4 at the end of the equation. The next two problems, examples, next three problems, examples 3, 4, and 5, are with stretches. So here the asymptote lines are going to be in the same place, always at the 0, 0. 1, 2, you can see that right there. Might as well do these as well. And then we'll need to take a look at our a value. So notice again, think from the center, you always go over 1, and then how far you go up to get to this point is your a value. So we went up 2, that means our a is 2. So I would write y equals 2, 1 over x. You can put a multiplication sign there if you'd like, or you can just leave it without the multiplication sign. Example number four, again, start from the center. We went over one and then down one. Down one is going to be negative one. So y equals negative one, one over x. You might also see that written as y equals negative one over x. Oftentimes they'll leave off the one if it's in front. Problem number five, again, here's your center over one and then down one, two, three, four, five points, which means we'll have an a value of negative five. Again, I'm counting the distance from here, one, two, three, four, and five. All right, now let's kind of combine those two ideas together. First thing we want to take care of is the asymptote lines, figure out where those are. So we're just going to draw those in. 
here and here. And those asymptote lines got moved down five. But there is no right or left movement. That's still on the original axis, so I didn't have to move it right or left at all. Now let's worry about the A value. Again, from the center, I went over one. I always go over one, and then I went up one, two, three. So my A value is three. Y equals three, one over X. I did not move right or left at all, so I don't need to have a number next to the X and then minus five at the end. Again, if you want to print a multiplication symbol there, you can. All right, problem seven. Asymptote lines, we'll draw them in. Left two, again, the line got moved over to negative two. And up four, the line got moved up to positive four. We'll find the A value. I think from the center, we went over one and then down one, two, three. So my A is negative three. Again, one, two, three. Take a moment and see if you can now write the correct equation. All right, so y equals negative three, the a value goes in front, multiplied by one over the left two would be plus two, and then the up four plus four. All right. Two practice problems at the bottom. These might have transformations, movements, they might have stretches. Let's just kind of see what happens. Asymptote line. And asymptote line. So we went right one and down three. Again, negative three down, positive one forward, right. Let's check our A value. Here's our point. So again, from the center, we always go over one. And then how far up you go is your A value. So here our A value is one. If your A value is one, you can put a one right there or you can leave it off. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave mine off. Right one, opposite direction of what it looks like, so I'm gonna put a minus sign there. And then plus three, oops, down three, sorry. That should be a minus, minus three. All right, and example number nine, asymptote lines, we'll draw them in. Draw them in. I did not move right or left. I'm still at that zero for the vertical line. I moved up two though. Now let's look at our A value. From here, we go over one, and then it looks like we need to get to this point. We're gonna go down one, two, three, four, and five. So A is gonna be negative five since I had to go downward to get there. I didn't move right or left, so I don't need a number right by that X. And then we went up to at the end. 